Hello co-students! Welcome to our presentation in Earth and Life Science. Let's start! Have you ever heard of the following events? These are all natural phenomena that our planet experience. Our country, Philippines has the high valuability to natural hazards as you have seen earlier. This is the one of the nation's geographic position in Southeast Asia. Volcanic eruptions are related to the continental plate activity among ring of the fire. In addition, climate change has also increased the severity and frequency of natural disaster in our country. Geological hazard means a geological hazard is a natural geologic event that can endanger human lives and threaten human property. The three example of geological hazard is first is earthquake, second is landslide, last is volcanic eruption. Earthquake. An earthquake is the sudden movement or trembling of the earth tectonic plates, resulting in shaking of the ground. This shaking can result in the damage of various structures such as buildings and further breakdown of the earth's surface. There can be many earthquakes over a short time frame in a small area. There are two types of concerns. First is volcanic earthquake. A volcano tectonic earthquake is an earthquake caused by the movement of magma beneath the surface of the earth. The movement results in pressure change where the rock around the magma has experienced stress. The earthquakes may also be related to dike intrusion or occur as earthquake swarms. Second is faults on earth's surface. Faults are cracks in the earth's crust along which there is movement. This can be massive boundaries between the tectonic plates themselves are very small. If tension builds up along a fault and then is suddenly released, the result is an earthquake. Basic earthquake futures. Epicenter. Focus. Hypocenter. Epicenter. Place on the surface of the earth above where the ruptured rocks breaks to produce an earthquake. Focus. Point of initial breaking or rupturing within the earth. Hypocenter, directly below the focus. The epicenter is the point directly above it at the surface of the earth, also commonly termed the focus. The hypotensor is the point within the earth where an earthquake rupture starts. Earthquakes are measured and compared by intensity, magnitude, moment magnitude, Richter magnitude scale. Intensity, effects of ground motion on people and its structure. The definition of intensity is the quality of being very strong, concentrated of difficult or the degree to which something is difficult or strong. An example of intensity is having the ability to run miles on end at a, at a top speed. An example of intensity is how quickly is a treadmill is moving magnitude amount of energy an earthquake release the magnitude is a number that characterizes the relative size of an earthquake magnitude is based on measurement of the maximum motion recorded by a seismograph moment magnitude indicates the size of the earthquake with a decimal number it is a determined from an statement of the area that re ruptured along a false plane during the quick the amount of movement slippage along the faults and the rigidity of the rocks near the focus of the quick currently used by most news reporters richter magnitude scale the Richter scale, also called the 
Richter magnitude scale is a measure of the strength of earthquake developed by Charles F. Richter and is still used by some now reporters. Effects of earthquakes and linkage with other natural hazards. Shaking and ground rupture. Second is liquefaction. Third is regional change in land elevation. Fourth is landslide. And the second to the loss is fires. Last one is disease. Shaking and ground rupture. The immediate effects of the catastrophic earthquake which are a violent ground shaking accompanied by widespread surface rupture and displacement of the earth's surface. When we say shaking and ground rupture, is an earthquake can fuse and pull the ground upward and upward. These are known as surface ruptures. A surface ruptures may occur suddenly during an earthquake. Or it can happen more slowly in either case. Surface ruptures often happen along persisting faults. Liquefaction. During earthquakes, intense shaking can cause near surface layer of water saturate sand to change rapidly from solid to liquid. When we say liquefaction, is process that generates a liquid from a solid or a gas or that generates a non-liquid phase, which behaves in accordance with fluid dynamic, it occurs both naturally and artificially. Regional change in land elevation, deformation of land surface. The deformation includes both regional uplight and subsidence of the earth's surface. This change in elevation can cause substantial damage and coastal areas and along streams can raise or lower groundwater table. A religion is an area that includes a number of places, all of which have something in common. Geographers categorize regions in, in two basic ways, physical and cultural. Physical regions are defined by the land from continents and mountain range climate, soil, and natural vegetations. Landslide Most closely linked natural hazard to earthquakes. Earthquakes are the one of the most common trigger for landslide in highly and mountainous areas. Landslide triggered by earthquakes can be extremely destruction and cause great loss of life. When we say landslide is defined as the movement of a mass of rock, debris, or earth down a slope. Landslide are the type of mass wasting which denotes any downslope movement of soil and rock under the direct influence of gravity. Fires Shaking of the ground and surface displacement can break electrical power and natural gas line. Those starting fires, the threaten from fire is even greater because firefighting equipment may be damaged, streets, roads, and bridge may be blocked and essential water mains broke. When we say fires is the phenomenon of the conversion manif manifested in light, flame, and heat. This is caused by loss of sanitation and housing, contaminated water, supplies, disturbance of public health service, and the disturbance of the natural environment. Landslide. A landslide is a downslope movement of a mass of rock, debris, earth, or soil. Soil being a mixture of earth and debris. A slope is a slant or incline on a land surface, the forces that produce landslide are determined by the interaction of several variables. The type of earth materials on the slope, topography, and the slope angle, climate, vegetation, water, and time. 
Another explanation, the landslide is, a, is defined as the movement of mass wasting, which denotes any downslope movement of soil and rocks under the direct influence of gravity. Earth materials, mineral composition, degree of cementation or consolidation, the presence of zones of weaknesses. Natural breaks in the consistency of earth materials, such as layering of sedimentary and metamorphic layering, or they may be zones along which the earth has moved before, such as an old landship surface or geographic fault. Another example explanation, earth materials includes minerals, rocks, salt, and water. These are the natural occurring materials found on Earth that cons constitute the raw materials upon which our global society exists. Earth materials are vital resources that provide the basic components for life, agriculture, and industry. Topography and slope angle. Topographic relief refers to the high of the hill or the mountain above the land below. The steeper the slope, the greater the driving force. Another explanation, slope and topography descri describes the shape and relief of the land. Topography is a measure of the evaluation and slope in the percent ch change in the elevation over a certain distance. Climate, whether that is typically in a place over a period of years or decades. For landslide, the type of climate influences the amount and timing of water that infiltrates and erodes a slope and the type of slope vegetation. Another explanation, climate change is a long-term alternation of temperature and typically weather patterns in a place. Climate change could refer to a particular location or the planet as a whole. Average temperature to rise. Vegetation. All the plants are plant life in a place. This provides a protective cover that cushions the impact of the falling rain to a slope, which prevents erosion. Vegetation also adds weight to a slope. The, another explanation. The importance of vegetation is a key component of an ecosystem and as such is involved in the regulation of vicious biochemical cycle. Example, water, carbon, nitrogen. Vegetation converts solar energy into biomass and forms the base of all food chain. Water affects loop stability in three ways. Number one, shallow soil sleeps and debris flows, developing during rainstorm when slope become saturated. Number two, some landslide develop months or even years follow a deep infiltration of water into a slope. And number three, water erosion of the waste of a slope decreases its stability. Another exam explanation, the water is a substance composed of a chemical elements, hydrogen and oxygen, and existing in gaseous, liquid, and solid state. It is the one of the most plentiful and essential of compounds. Time. Weathering of rocks through time reduces their strength. This is caused by the chemical action of water it contacts with soil and rocks near the Earth's surface.